Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Live a Live with me, Boulder's Free Gamer. Matsu! He's not dead yet, right? As long as we have Bariki Dio! Brr, you. you're moving it? Oh, he did level up since then. Here we go, Matsu! To the Odeo Temple! I'll show you how it's done! Meanwhile, at the Odeo Temple, the water is an eerie color. Come on! By the graces of the army! Your ass is grass! Move the robot with up, down, left, and right. Enemy Shoten! To destroy them, use Halogen Laser! They'll fire missiles at you, but you're Bariki Dio! We don't even know how much health we have! We have lasers! Right on! Robots can't level up! Worthless super robot! There's some tanks! I'm gonna punch this tank. Yeah! I'm gonna use this, like, bullet thing. Oh, yeah! This is amazing. We're controlling a mecha! Right on! Gotta keep going north. Ah, oh, so many random battles. Wow, that one moved just down just in time to get hit by the halogen laser! Clearly the halogen laser is better than everything else, so just go ahead and keep on using that. Oh man, so many tanks! I think you still get healed after every fight. I mean, even with the ridiculous amount of health that you have. Well, I can't use halogen laser on all those up there. All I can do is punch them, I guess. But if I'm gonna punch them, I might as well get rid of this one so I can get in the way to laser them. Up we go! It's a mecha! This is what you voted for all chapter! Right on! And when you get in front of it, you fight a boss! The Donryu! Move right next to it and start kicking it with Babylon Kick! And it has Mazer Cannons! That kinda hurts. That's okay, you can just keep on kicking it! Clearly, the legs on the Bariki Dio are the strongest thing it has. Just keep kicking. You'll win. You might want to save the game after this if you have a chance. They'll just keep on doing everything to you. But you're not gonna die. Not dead yet! Kick! Ow. Well, at least I'm pretty sure you can't die. I mean, you're Bariki Dio. Right on! Now for a very long cutscene. Fools. My fools, my army. Hmm. Tis brilliance. Humans melted together, the other humans into one being. Sharing both mind and body. And hatred. A superb world without fighting. To gain such a world, the impure flesh must be abandoned. Ah oh, well, you wouldn't understand. The 2000th liquefied human has been sacrificed. 
The water of this temple's pond now contains 60,000 liters of liquefied humans. Ew. That's completely disgusting. Why would somebody do that? It's probably mostly water anyway. Okay, so now it's going to slowly absorb everything. You've come. No! The great Inko Buddha statue shall bring unto us salvation. Master Odeo arrives. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a priest saying that, but I forgot his voice. I'm gonna make the statue say that. As it absorbs every bird. Very slowly. I wish there was a way to speed this up, other than the space bar. Creepy stuff. Seriously. Lupified humans entering a giant Buddha statue. Stay calm. We can do this. Right, Batsu? Okay. Great Ingo statue. Yes, that's right. My giant mecha is fighting a giant Buddha statue. Babylon kick. Ow, that's his worst ability! Okay, my, my hands are bound, but this fight is entirely luck-based, based on what happens. Okay, that's his worst ability. And by worst ability, I mean, like, you want him to do that every time. No, not that again! Anyway, if I get lucky, we'll not get rid- Stop doing that! That's his other bad ability. Ah, uh, he got rid of those. Uh, jump jump bullet. Yeah, keep doing that. Until I get the use of my feet back. Yes! I don't have anywhere to run now. I got my fist back, that's good. Yes. I can kick again. No, I can't. Dag nabbit. Keep kicking. Yes, that's good. That's extremely weak. And I got my kick back. I can't kick him from here, can I? Move down. Yes! Kick to the face! Boot to the head! Statue to the ground! I guess that statute of limitations is up. I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. Ugh. Master Odeo. No! And now the liquefied humans claim them. Huh? Ah, uh, liquefied humans! Master Inko! I'd think you'd be happy. Now you'll become one with them! Eh? There! I gotta swallow Bariki Dio, too! Oh yeah, I would too if they just kicked my burger. You get... CRAP! Will Brera make it out alive? Tune in next time on Bariki Dio! Ah, damn it!
Or, you know, stay tuned. Stop looking around and make me some Taiyaki! Huh? Uh, okay. And so, the chapter comes to a close. I have no idea how Brera got out of that alive. I assume it was some psychic feat. Either way, he blacked out after it. Matsu is dead. Watanabe's father is dead. I think Kaori's dead too, but I'm not too sure about that one. She might be recovering. That corporation is gone. The army is pretty much gone. I have no idea how things are returning to a state of peace after that. Well, I guess the Crusaders are gone too. Wow, she puts up clothing really fast. She's really good at handling kids. Uh, if I go to handling kids, I mean throws them in front of the television. Uh, don't do that to your kids, parents. Don't just throw them in front of the TV. That's not good parenting. It looks like she's still there. And there she now has a robot companion to be with her all the time. Or rather, to play chess or checkers with the director. It moves around just like a pet. I love Robot Turtle. Looks like they're trying to get it so the mech is fixed again. Maybe he's trying to get it to work so he doesn't have to binge on that stuff in order to get it to work. But it's not quite there yet. Poor Toei. Oh, and in case I didn't explain it, or it wasn't explained in the comments before, Taraki is that, like, Fish that looks like bread that's filled with stuff. I don't think it's that good personally, but whatever. Not everybody likes everything I like. Or maybe I just haven't found the right Taiyaki chef, or Taiyaki maker. Taiyaki baker? Oh well. Wait, you're going the wrong way, Brera! Don't drown yourself! Oh. He stole Matsu's bike. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's not like he was gonna use it. I hate that creepy music. Why does he hang out there? It's just so creepy. Next time on Let's Play Live a Live with me, Voltage McGammer, the sci-fi chapter. Later, robots.